The Philadelphia Mint struck over 5.5 billion Lincoln cents in 1978, consuming 765,914.1 pounds, or 157,583.8 metric tons of copper. It should be noted, however, that the West Point facility did strike roughly 1.5 billion of these coins, and there is no way to distinguish between the two mintages. Combined, this represented only 56.5 of the total Lincoln cent issuance for 1978, the remainder being made up by the Denver facility. Despite being an increase of over 1.1 billion coins from the previous year, this was only a slightly above average mintage of memorial cents for the Philadelphia branch of the United States Mint. Hey, coin collectors, welcome back to Coin Oz. Today's video is dedicated to Lincoln cents struck in 1978. This visual collector's guide is based on article published by CoinWeek. Hit that subscribe button below and let's dive in. Coins from this mintage generally display sharp details, in part because the mint used a new reverse hub in 1978. Interestingly, effective June 7, 1978, the United States Treasury Department revoked the prohibition on exporting or melting U.S. cents that had been implemented in 1974 amid rapidly rising copper prices. One of the best ways to locate 1978 Lincoln cents in high grades today is to look through the yearly mint sets. Offered at $7, $31.80 adjusted for inflation, the U.S. Mint released 2,162,609 sets in 1978. Currently, these sets are easily acquired for $7 to $10. MS-66 examples are slightly challenging to find, and collectors need to be experienced graders with ample time to sort through many dozens of rolls in order to find one. MS-67 RDs, the first grade that can reliably turn a profit for a submitter, are often described as problem-free or registry-grade examples. Extremely rare and usually only found in unopened mint rolls or in old collections, MS-67 plus RDs can be expected to net $130 to $140. The fact that a half-grade bump can increase the price by $100 shows the rarity of these grades. In a strange outlier, one MS67 plus RD example hammered for an insane $4,259 in the Heritage Auctions 2014 September Long Beach Expo sale. This followed a very similar coin that sold the year before, also in a Heritage's Long Beach Expo sale, for $3,819. These outliers are nearly 525% to 600% higher than the average price over the past five years. The holy grail of this type is, and will most likely stay, the MS-68RD. It would undoubtedly be a thrill to find one. PCGS certified just one specimen as of January 2024, with none finer. Thanks for watching this video. This episode is based on article published by CoinWeek. Subscribe and stay tuned to Coin Oz for more captivating coin related content. Bye.